A silver alert, a neighborhood on edge, and an outcome residents were hoping for. Tonight, 95-year-old Waureen Winters is safe after accidentally wandering away from her home during a dangerously hot weekend. News Channel 5's Chris Conti with how her neighbors stepped in to help. We have lived here since 1995. On Mansker Creek Road in Madison, the phrase, love thy neighbor. So we kind of bond. Takes on special meaning for Patty Wyatt. Charming. She's just a, a very colorful character. She is Warren Waters. She's lived next door to Patty for the better part of three decades. The 95 year old never leaves her home much until Sunday. Everybody thinks oh, she's out working in the yard or something. So that's the first place everybody goes to look to, to see if she's maybe gotten overcome by heat or something. You know, we just don't know. The grandmother, great grandmother, neighbor was gone and this neighborhood was determined to find her. He had thought he had heard something, but he couldn't find anything. Door by door, residents here left their homes to help police search. All you have to do is just start and the next one will carry to the next one to the next one and they just whatever you need. It's unclear why Warren wandered away from home in the heat of the day, but nearly eight hours after she disappeared, a Metro police officer found her near a creek. Places are steep areas where somebody could fall into the creek. The spot where Warren was found had actually been searched once already by neighbors out here. It wasn't until Metro police went back a second time after Patty's son thought he heard something that she was found. I'm just absolutely delighted that they found her awake and alert and talking. I just think that's wonderful. Yeah, we were all pretty scared. The ending they all hoped for in a neighborhood that looks out for one another. But I'm just so happy that they found her. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. That officer who found Warren is Nick Barron's. He's on Metro search and rescue team. Tonight at 10 o'clock, Officer Barron shares his story and how he helped to find Warren last Sunday.